Measure 19, study guide. Let's look at 11. What's the measure of angle 1? Angle 2, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 4, 5. So we're looking at these angle measures. But we need to find what the interior angles are to find the exterior ones. So we're just going to solve 4x and plug in these angles. Actually, we could answer measure of angle 1 real quick, but let's find the rest. No, nope. actually, let's do angle 1. So we know that this is a straight line. So this angle plus angle 1 will equal 180. So for 1, we can simply do 180 minus 82. And we get, borrow 8, 17 minus 8 is 9. So the answer 11 is 98. And now we need to plug it in. So we know that this angle is 82. We're going to add this angle, which is 9x minus 6. Then we're going to add this angle, which is 6x minus 1. And when we add them up, we get 180. The three interior angles of a triangle equal 180. So we have 9x plus 6x is 15x. 82 minus 6 is 76 minus 1 is 75 minus 75 on both sides those create a zero pair and we're left with 15x equals 105 now you will divide 15 on both sides so 105 divided by 15, and x equals 7. So if x equals 7, we can plug in these angles. So this angle is 9x minus 6. So that's 9 times 7 minus 6. 9 times 7 is 63. Take away 6, and that is... Um, 57. So this angle is actually 57. And let's go for this last angle. 6x minus 1. And x equals 7. 6 times 7 is 42 minus 1. This angle is 41 degrees. Okay. So angle 1 we already did. What's the measure of angle 2? Angle 2, well, if this is 41. We know that this is a straight line. So all we have to do is 180 minus 41. 10 minus 1 is 9. 7 minus 4 is 3. That's a 1. So the measure of angle 2 is 139. Moving on, measure of angle 4. So we know again that this is a straight line. So 57 plus something will give us 180. So 180 minus 57, borrow here. 10 minus 7 is 3. 7 minus 5 is 2. And bring down the 1. So angle 4 is 123 degrees. And the measure of angle 5, we don't need to do any work here because we know that the relationship between 4 and 5, they're vertical, which means they're congruent. So 4 is 123, 5 is also 123.